Okay, this goes for all iPhones 5, 6, as well as the 6S, and of course the um, Plus versions as well. Basically, you have an issue where you're getting no service up here, or maybe it's constantly searching. I'm going to give you guys several steps of what you can do right now to get your phone up and running. First thing is first, I want you guys to go ahead and turn off your phone. Go ahead and power down your phone. Once it's powered down, go ahead and eject your SIM tray here. You can use a key pin here or a thin paper clip or even the back of a stud earring, okay? So pull it out just like this, and then we're going to make sure that your SIM card is in place, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and reinsert it, power your phone back on. And hopefully when this boots back up, your phone is up and running. You'll be able to see your carrier up here in the top left-hand corner. If it's not, then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so my phone is back up, and hopefully you'll be able, you'll be able to see your carrier up here in the top left-hand corner. If not, no problem. We're going to go to the next step here. So if your phone is still searching or it's still no service, then what we're going to do from here is we're going to go into settings. And then from here what we're going to do is we're going to go under general. And then we're going to scroll all the way down. We're going to hit on reset. And from here we're going to tap on reset network settings. Okay. Now take note. Uh, let me just put my password in. Now when I put this in, when I press the um, reset network settings, it says this will delete all network settings returning them to factory defaults, okay? Now, this is not going to delete your photos or videos or documents or music or apps. It's simply going to be resetting your network settings. In other words, it's basically going to be deleting all of your, like, Wi-Fi networks and your passwords, okay? So once I go ahead and, and click on Reset Network Settings, I'm going to wait for it to boot up. Once it boots up, then I'm basically I'm going to have to re-enter my password for my home Wi-Fi network, uh, as well as um, uh, my work my my work Wi-Fi password, uh, my Wi-Fi password, all my friends. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for this to boot back up. Okay, so it's booted back up. Now, hopefully your phone is up and running. You should be able to see your carrier on the top left-hand corner. If not, no problem. We're going to go to the next step here. So, again, you want to go into your settings here. And from here now, we're going to see airplane mode, okay? Now, what you want to do with this is you want to turn it on, off, on, off, on, off. And then give it a second, and hopefully you'll see your network carry up there okay if if not we're going to go to the next step which is under here do not disturb click on that and then under manual we're going to do the same thing we're, we're going to go ahead and turn it on off on off on off and hopefully you'll see your network carry up there if not we're going to go to the next step you want to go back into your settings here and then you want to click under carrier now, some of you aren't going to be able to do this step. If you can't do this step, don't worry about it. You can skip to the next step, okay? Under automatic, you want to go ahead and turn it off, on, off, on, off, on, and then wait for it, and hopefully it'll find your network. Now, if it doesn't, we are going to go ahead and turn it off, and we're going to wait. For the search, like I said, if you cannot do this step, just go ahead and skip it and go to the next one. Now I'm located here in the U.S., so it should find um, carriers in the U.S. like uh, T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon. Now th another thing to take note too is um, some carriers, you're not going to have it on here because some of the carriers you guys have like in the U.S., it basically piggybacks off another carrier like T-Mobile. Like I just had a friend had an issue with this phone and I went, I went through all these steps here and nothing worked until I realized that it was uh, his APN settings. We had to actually go in there and uh, manually input his APN settings and then his phone worked. He had service right away. 
I forget what carrier it was, but it basically piggybacked off of uh, T-Mobile. It's one of those like discount uh, carriers or something. Okay, so then you can see we have uh, several services here. Go ahead and pick your carrier. Mine will be T-Mobile. Put that on there and then wait for it to uh, find the uh, T-Mobile network or whatever service you guys have on your Okay, If that doesn't work, then just go ahead and go back to uh, automatic. And then the next step that we're going to do, if that didn't work, is we're going to go back into settings here. And then we're going to click on, scroll all the way down to go on your phone here. And then scroll all the way down to the very bottom and tap on SIM pin. Make sure that this is off, okay? If you have it on, turn it off, okay? And that's pretty much what I, I have for you guys. Now, if none of these steps work, then it's possible that you may need to get a new SIM card or you may have a hardware issue. Could be a chip that's uh, corroded or maybe it got wet. Uh, could be an issue with your internal antenna. Uh, it, still, it can still be a software issue, you know? You just very well may need to update your software like I said earlier in the video, you may have to input your APN settings manually. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you guys have questions or anything, just comment below. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.